Hello, my name is David Hirely. I am the developer of the Thinking Maps model and also CEO of Thinking Schools International, where we work around the world to develop and facilitate student thinking using a variety of models from uh, habits of mind and philosophy for children to creativity and of course, Thinking Maps as a language of visual tools. So, I am delighted that this course is being put together in collaboration with Teaching Times and also with Hannah Miller and her colleagues at the Academy Trust there in the UK that have been for years developing and facilitating student thinking in very explicit ways. I remember the last time I visited uh, schools there and saw that students were training each other in different kinds of approaches and models to the development of thinking. And this meant that they had internalized and richly developed their own capacities to use the tools so they could convey, convey them to their classmates. So to me, this is a very exciting course in that the time is right. Uh, right now we have very difficult times around the world and most of the time we're communicating virtually. But it's often in Skype and in Zoom and Google Meet where we're all sitting in little boxes and trying to communicate in very disruptive environments. So the use of visual tools is ever more important in this prevalent online community, but also back in the classroom where we're going to be most of the time as educators working with students. This link between the virtual and the visual is key because oftentimes what we say gets lost very quickly. For example, here's an overview of my short presentation here today where I just gave a brief um, invitation to you about what we're going to be uh, talking about today, but then also it helped me to map out the big picture of what I wanted to convey to you. So the idea is, is we can use the visual tools in a virtual way to support our interactions. And this means from uh, early years all the way up through college and into the workplace. So let me give you a brief overview of our course uh, that really is, has three major segments to it, three major phases. And the first is after an introduction to different types of visual tools, which we won't spend a lot of time on, we will go directly into the use of thinking process maps. Some of these you've used, such as concept mapping and systems thinking, but I'm gonna really focus on how to develop that from simple to complex uses, so that students aren't immediately overwhelmed with uh, the development of the use of the tool and that they're able to integrate it into their everyday learning and you as teachers and leaders in the school community are able to integrate them in as well. So that'll be the first segment. The second segment is really the fulcrum for uh, the rest of the course, and that is the introduction to the use of thinking maps, which is a language of visual tools, but it also embodies all the other kinds of visual tools, such as mind mapping, concept mapping, and systems thinking and diagramming. So I'm gonna look not only with you at the specific model of thinking maps, but how it also can be an integration point for these other very rich, richly developed tools that have been around for many years, if not generations. As a matter of fact, I started out in my teaching using mind mapping and different types of graphic organizers, and that spurred me on in working with Art Costa to really look at cognition and how to develop thinking. So many of these tools have been around for many years. Now what we're looking at is how to integrate them with other tools and the daily classroom instruction, but also student automaticity with the tools. And that brings us to the third segment of our course, which is really on what we call bifocal assessment. It's the capacity of students uh, individually, collaboratively, online and in virtual environment to be able to use the visual tools to become self-assessing, reflective, and as we say, metacognitive. It also provides teachers with a capacity to do formative assessment, even summative assessment. So I'm really excited about this course. You're gonna see video clips 
uh, that Hannah Miller and her colleagues have put together of classroom work, of interviews, and most importantly, uh, testimonials from everybody across the school environment saying how rich over time the development of visual tools was for uh, their whole school. So I look forward to being with you, working with you, and sharing a lot of resources online beyond our uh, virtual time together. So be well and see you soon. Bye.